All right, so now that we understand the concept of multi-dimensional arrays, jagged arrays are going to be significantly easier. So let's go ahead and jump in. But before we do that, let's talk about the differences between a jagged array and a multi-dimensional array. So I think the main difference is um, that, well, at least the main difference that we need to be aware of is that multi-dimensional arrays can only have one set size. So for instance, if um, my, uh, or excuse me, one set size for each list. So if the first list is three, then the second list needs to be three. Or if the second list is three, then the first list needs to be three. All of them need to be the same size. Um, you can't have multiple different kinds of lists. For instance, if you had an array that was, um, if you wanted to have an array that was maybe three in size and the second one was four, you wouldn't be able to do that. But jagged arrays, we can do that. So let's jump in. So first one is we're going to um, we're going to make a new jagged array. Um, you'll notice this time we have these two boxes here. Um, so this lets it know that it is a um, a jagged array, and we can say um, table my table equals new int. And the reason why we have to do that is because if we do this, um, then it will say we have an error and array creation must have an array size or array initializer. So we're just going to say three. All right. So that means we need to specify each, um, each um, array. So the first index, um, is going to be zero, of course. And as we go through, we'll just say um, equals new int um, array. And then we can just do this right here. So we can say one, two, three. All right. And then we can actually copy this and paste it um, all the way down. So one and two. Okay. So, but to differentiate, we're going to do two, three, four, and then nine. Actually, wait a minute. We'll do uh, four, five, six, nine, eight, seven. Okay. This way we can see it. So now we can go through and make our for loop fairly easily. So we go in here and we say variable i for index. Actually, we'll make this for our list. Variable list equals zero. So the list number is zero. Um, and then our list um, our, is going to be less than array. Let's see, excuse me, um, my table dot length and then we will have list incrementing by one okay so in here we will separate each list by just uh, writing this little divider you can do this if you want if not that's fine um, I'm just doing this so that um, we can actually see it a little easier okay so we have our for loop again so what we're doing now is we're just going through um, and we're iterating through each array. So we're on the first array, then this will go to the second and third. It doesn't touch any of these. So now when we hit the first array, we need to make another for loop that goes through each specific item. So this for loop will be, we will have the variable name as number. We'll just call it num equals zero. Num is less than, all right, so this way, um, remember in the last video we had to specifically define the number on this one we can simply say my table I dot length all right oh excuse me I um, list part <laughs> pardon me um, okay so now we can just do list all right all right, and so, oh, excuse me, 
See, there's a uh, there's an issue here. We need we need to have this num be incrementing by one. All right, that was a uh, that was my bad, but uh, we we're looking pretty good so far. So let's go ahead and we're gonna write um, to the console. Um, let's see, write to the console my table, and the first. Uh, the first array will be determined by this list. So we're going to grab the list number. And then the second array that we're going to grab, or excuse me, yeah, the second um, the second array that we're going to grab is the actual array itself. So we can say num. All right. So we're going through, my table is going through, and every time it iterates, it grabs one array. So this is the number of array that it is going to grab. Um, and then it is less than um, the length of arrays that we have in here. So this will be this length will be three. And then this, this number, the number of lists will continue to increment as it traverses each array. And so when it goes down here, it will come in here and then go through each list. So it's essentially um, looking into a bag pulling out the first list and then then and then we open up that list and then pull out each item and then after we're done with each item we're done with the list and then we reach back into the main bag to grab another list and then this goes through and grabs each item okay so let's take a look let's go ahead and run this and see what we get Oh, and there you go. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So what would what would happen if we did four? And we took out three here, just to see um, what we got here. So now we have different sizes. This is completely different. And there you go. It doesn't change at all. Well, it doesn't change the uh, functionality. Um, we're good to go. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, typically, multidimensional arrays in other languages are, and jagged arrays are um, typically the same. You can kind of mess with them as you please. But um, with C Sharp, uh, there's a little bit of a different way to do it. Um, in the next video, I'll go over how to nest lists. So I look forward to seeing you in that one.